real blessings in my life as being part of this group. Uh, I've been in small groups really my entire adult life, but this one has been different in part because of the longevity. We've been able to establish community at a depth that I'd never experienced before, and it's been a real blessing. It's been great. There's been so many things that have been inspiring about being part of this. We've laughed together, cried together, we've prayed together, we've learned, celebrated, we've had parties at the lake. I mean, it's just been a great environment to be around guys who are we're still on the journey, and I think that's what it is. So it's been, it's been awesome for me. So when I think of how uh, the men's leadership group that I've been in has impacted me the most, I think of these two words, practical inspiration. And what I mean by that is a lot of times uh, I've been inspired by speakers or books or things that we study, uh, but what's been different about this is being with a group of men who are like-minded, they're committed to the same things, they all want to grow, we each have our own story, and being a part of that uh, is inspiring because we've all been in, in different challenges and different life stages that I can draw on for inspiration. But what makes it practical for me is that I get to hear their response to those challenges. And not only going through life with them so that I learn, uh, you know, this is how Jim did it or this is how Alan did it. Uh, but in the context of a study, when we're studying leadership, whether it's a book or a character in the Bible, um, there's always truth there, and it's timeless, and, and I know I can apply it. For me, being a part of this group really came at a, a timely uh, point in my life. I remember when Mike Titus called me and asked me to be, um, uh, to, to meet with him and uh, with Mark, and I didn't know Mark, I knew of Mark, but I didn't know Mark at the time, and so I had a chance to meet with those guys, and they shared uh, what was going on with the group and the benefit of that. And it really, um, it really inspired me to think that I had an opportunity to be a part of something that was, um, that was bigger than me. And so I was, I was intrigued by that. But what really challenged me was the fact that these guys, um, they had had a couple of guys leave the group earlier. And this was only about three years ago, so I'm the rookie. But uh, what happened was they told me when they met with me that they'd been praying for about a year and asking the Lord, uh, who should be part of their group and my name kept coming up and so when that uh, was sort of put out that way um, I, I felt a little a little more of a tug knowing that I, I really better take this seriously and it's been a great um, it's just been a great thing for me to, to be around these guys in, in this environment it's really helped me go a lot further as a leader. You know, one of the benefits that I don't think any of us fully anticipated when we started all those years ago is how much doing life together would matter. Every significant decision that I've made in the last 15 years, these men have prayed with me. These men have encouraged me, and they've helped me make better decisions. And I think they would agree uh, doing life together has helped us all more than we would have ever thought. One of the largest impacts being in the leadership group has had on me is learning about self-leadership. I've come to learn that if you don't lead yourself well, you probably won't do very well leading others. Being in this group has helped me as a father just with the material and also with just being around these men for the last 14 years and being a season ahead of me. And so what I've been able to experience just through life circumstances has helped me be a better father to my three boys. In December of 2008, I was on my way to a meeting that morning, that was a Friday morning. On my way to that meeting, um, I didn't make it to that meeting. And six days later, I awoke uh, tied to a hospital bed in Grady. And during those six days that I wasn't here, the, the small group was there. They were by my side 24 hours a day for, for all of those days. So that my wife could continue to raise our three children in my absence. And it's having a small group like that that is, is, is there's mutual development going on, but there's also that kind of real life community going on. And that was a powerful time for me, although I wasn't there for most of it. But it's, it's impressive to be a part of a group where you can develop even when you're really in need. By choosing to focus on our development as leaders, 
it gave us a focus that has really helped us as we chart our course. There are many, many things we could study, but most of us are in other groups whether it be couples groups or traditional Bible study groups. And although we're looking at leadership through a Christian worldview, uh, focusing on the topic of leadership has helped us uh, grow significantly. This group has helped me and it's prepared my heart so that I can serve on a board that's a nonprofit board where we get to help internationally. So between the material that we've studied and the men that I get to be around through this group has really been a heart issue for me. So one thing I want you to know about uh, this men's leadership development group is our commitment to it. Um, when I was uh, first starting out in this group, I wasn't really sure what it was going to be about, and my plate was pretty full. And uh, the reason I joined was that I knew some of the men, uh, not well, but I knew who they were, and I knew that I could probably profit from being around them, being in their company. Um, as the years rolled on and uh, each one of us took on new responsibilities, we were already busy men, uh, had busy lives, had busy family lives, and uh, we all continue to go through a process of kind of winnowing down. I mean, what should we be involved in? What should we pull out of? Uh, and every time I had a conversation with my wife and I put this group on the table as something that, uh, you know, I could drop out of, I could pull back from. Uh, I barely got the sentence out of my mouth before she said, not that. Everything else is up for grabs, but not being a part of that group. And that probably um, has impacted my commitment to the group. It made me realize that uh, she saw and, and felt the effects of, of the group on my life. And that uh, was something that she wanted to see continue. So uh, that's pretty poignant for me.